Feudalism is a system of social hierarchy based on local administrative control and the distribution of land, with its roots in the ancient Roman manorial system where workers were compensated with protection when living on large estates. Wait, like legitimate protection? Are we talking like mafioso protection? The Lord would like you to know that as long as you're working for him, you're protected. Oh, look, I appreciate it, but you know, I don't actually need protection, you know. I'm, I'm friends with everyone, you know. Nary an enemy in the world. Oh, no. Accidents happen, if you know what I mean. The word feudalism comes from the Latin terms feudalis, meaning fee, and feodum, meaning fife. Fife? Look, you, you can't say that a word means another word that I have to look up. It makes me look uneducated. You are. He is. Feudalism was used commonly in medieval Europe between the 10th and 13th centuries. Typically, a lord gave a fife. Oh, come on, can we just call it land? It's sensitive. A lord would give land with a promise of legal and military protection in return for a payment of some kind from the person who received it. Now, this could require military service or a regular payment of money or goods. Now, this might sound like your typical serf serving under a royal, but both the lord and vassal were usually freemen. Oh, okay, I get it. So, no, so it's sort of like when you, when you have one of your mates stay at your flat rent free, right? But you require they clean the loo at least once a week. What's that? I'm being told that's not what it's like at all. That's not to say that feudalism never applied to a monarchy. Kings and queens often had the power to seize any parcel of land they chose and gift it to a noble in return for service. Rude. You know, I really like Jeff and his lot. Let's say we give him that land by Sherwood Forest. But sire, that land already belongs to the Loxleys. Not anymore, it doesn't, if you know what I mean. No, but I've got it here in the ledger. Not anymore, you don't. No, I'm pretty sure I'll do it. You know, I can check if you like. You! Do you know what I mean? I do, my lord. Good. You're promoted to sheriff. Now kill him and evict the Loxleys. Feudalism wasn't exclusive to Europe. It could also be found in China between 1046 and 256 BC, and in Japan between 1603 and 1868. The main problems that arose with feudalism is that fiefdoms were often hereditary, causing a permanent class divide between those that had land and those that rented it. Over time, it also became difficult to keep track of who owned what land, weakening the whole system. You know, and the increase in commerce also led to changes in and the ultimate demise of feudalism. Did it though? I mean, did it really? Aren't timeshares just a modern form of feudalism? If you enjoy this video, please give it a like and a share. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell icon to be notified when more Briefer History of the Past videos go up. Thanks, and I'll see you all in the future.